What's good, YouTube? Reynolds, 1980. Um, back with a review video for the uh, the Cigar Sixes. I got this box in yesterday. This was one of the kicks that was in that box that looked strange. Um, good straight into it. Uh, tag says Air Jordan Six Retro. Color is um, brown, um brown, shilling red, uh, red metallic. A uh, few colors there I don't recognize. Uh, suggested retail price two fifty. You got a gold jump man on the side here. Gold box throughout comes around. Uh, opens from the side like this. The inside is metallic red. Uh, your paper has the uh, five six logo. You know what I'm saying? Like the V for five, one for six, Roman numeral six. Anyway, uh, they come plastic wrapped like this. Uh, go ahead and take these both out have two layers of paper here, this one here and this one here. Um, that red metallic is all the way throughout, it reminds me of the red metallic foams. Uh, let's see, get straight into it. We'll go ahead and take this plastic off. Um, I'm not sure why they're plastic wrapped like that, kind of the way shoes are at flight clubs, you know, but Anyway, they didn't come plastic wrap on release, so I don't know. Uh, straight into it, I noticed that um, the inside here is like a like a suede. It's got a suede sock liner. That's pretty neat. You got um, you got wooden tips on the laces. Let's pull this out. You got a gold flake cork insole. That's pretty neat there. Uh, some more details to the shoe. You got that uh, that burgundy and gold style color uh, fin back here. Got the laser etched badge on the back. Says 91 to 98. Uh, you got ice soap with that. I guess that's fire red there. More of that burgundy through here. Uh, the leather quality is really, really nice, so be careful with these because, I mean, it's like butter on the finger, so, I mean, you can scratch these and scuff them pretty bad if you're not careful. Uh, the lace lock is that burgundy also with that um, Jumpman. It's the same color fire red as that. Laces and uh, the booty on the inside is burgundy that runs throughout. Comes with the gold seal here. That's uh, feeling it's more like a, a matte leather. If that makes any sense. Um, your ring is uh, got the white stone in it. Pretty neat. People don't much show how this lace lock is, but there you go. Here's what the lace lock looks like. It's not a big giant ring. It's more or less like a bent out ring, you know, to give the effect. Um, with the tongue pulled out here, this is really thick rubber back with the. Uh, the nylon burgundy also, like the other sixes. Um, something I noticed on the release pair, now the difference is um, on the official release, you get seven holes on one side and uh, six on the other, but uh, these have seven on, seven on both, you know what I'm saying? That's where the discrepancy is. It's supposed to be seven and six, but these have it seven on both, you know? There's the issue. But um, overall, it's a dope shoe. Premium quality on these, you know. Shapes on point. All materials are official, you know. So, there's that. Uh, definitely something I hold on to. This was so uh, dope, in fact, that I didn't even bother trying to get the online release. I didn't even bother with it. But these are do just fine. Got the champagnes coming also. So, um, I don't mind keeping those either, you know what I'm saying? So. It's fine for me. It works. Foot game, straight to the foot game. Um, let's see if I can't get the T for this off of sneaker uh, sneaker tees. I hit up uh, Roughneck, but I got no answer back from them, so I'm just gonna proceed with uh, somewhere else, I guess. But um, dope, dope shoe. Not a whole lot to say about it after that. Uh, showed you the inside. Showed you what it's made of. Uh, here's the toe box. See, I just, my fingernail barely touched it and put a 
little mark on it. There's toolbox right here. It actually looks like a um, cigar, you know what I'm saying? Like That was neat. I just rubbed it. It's kind of like oily. It rubbed away the scuff just by rubbing it on my finger. Toe box is nice and rounded. The leather looks great. There's the back. There's the instep. It reminds me more of the infrared 23s, their shape, than, uh, than the Carmine 6s or infrared 6s. You know what I'm saying? If that makes any sense. Because to me, the, the Carmine um, and the infrared 23 6s look kind of like a, almost like a boot. You know what I'm saying? And with this brown leather, that's what we're looking at. Anyway, Reynolds 1980 Dope Shoe. I'm going to get out of here. Uh, appreciate each and every one of you. Like I said, this um, plastic wrap is... I don't know what that's about. I guess it's just to keep it from scratching because um, this isn't the way it was sold at the store, you know? Anyway, we're going to get out of here and we'll be each and every one of you. Um, peace, guys.